My name is Emily Lewis, and I wanted to take a few minutes to share some of my favorite tips and tricks to help keep you and our voters safe on election day. A little bit about me, I have a bachelor's and a master's degree in criminal justice, and I've got over 20 years experience as a public safety professional working for various police departments and fire departments across the United States. Hopefully you will never experience an emergency while working election. But if you do, it's our hope that these tips will help you feel empowered to act. We are all used to working long hours on the election day, often arriving at the polling place when it's dark and leaving our polling place when it's dark. So make sure that you are paying attention to your surroundings, use the buddy system and walk in pairs when it's available to walk from your car to the building, making note of any suspicious people or vehicles. We'll have more expanded information on this in the supervisor's election training manual. As you are setting up your polling place and throughout election day, there's a few things to note about that polling place. The first thing, make note of the name of the business or establishment, the exact address, which is conveniently found in your election training material, and the nearest cross streets. A few other things to note are the emergency exits, any fire extinguishers, first aid kits, or AEDs. In the event of an emergency where you would need to evacuate your polling place, such as a fire, a gas leak, or any other immediate life-threatening event, remember your health and safety comes first. Evacuate the building immediately, call 911, and then contact the election office. There may be times during the election day where you have a difficult or upset voter and you'll need to defuse the situation. When this happens, and if you feel comfortable, ask the voter to step outside. This allows you to focus solely on their situation. And if that situation escalates, call 911, have a police officer respond, and then contact the election office. The supervising judges will have more information in their supervisor election training manual on dealing with difficult voters. Thank you for everything that you continue to do for our county and our elections. If you have any questions on any of the safety tips and tricks that we've talked about, feel free to take a look at your election training manual or contact the election office.